used to put Louis Vuitton bags that are like $5,000. Happy New Year, bros, once more. January is upon us, which means it is bridal show season. The off season is here, and now we're prepping for a brand new wedding season come spring, summer, and fall. And a lot of you guys ask me, hey, Bar, are these bridal shows still worth it? Do you think it makes sense? to do bridal shows. You do some research, you can generally find a ton of bridal shows in your area, but very few of them will draw a big audience. And I would probably recommend that you stay away from those smaller niche bridal shows. It's very high risk, high reward. You might spend, let's say, $1,000 to go to one of these small shows and you might not book anything. However, your odds in booking something are increased the more people that there are at the show. So if you are considering doing a bridal show, I would probably say go big or go home. Yes, the bigger bridal shows are going to be a little bit more money, but the odds of you making your money back are a lot higher than your odds at a smaller bridal show. And with that, the second thing that you have to keep in mind is you somewhat need to have a great personality because you're going to be meeting a lot of people and first impressions are everything. The way you talk, the way you maneuver the conversation, and even the way you're booth looks are all going to be factors on whether or not this couple is going to like you. You see, the cool thing about the internet is that it's helped guys like myself. I'm a little bit more reserved. I'm a little bit more laid back. I know the videos don't often show that. So for me doing a bridal show, it kind of doesn't make sense because it takes a lot for me to break out of my shell. So if you're in the same boat as me, it might not make sense for you to do a bridal show. You might have to go out and hire help. However, if you have a great personality and people just gravitate towards you bridal shows are probably a field day it's probably like shooting fish in a barrel for you and I somewhat envy those people because to them a bridal show is just money walking around <laughs> today my friends I am teaming up with posh DJs to bring you inside one of the biggest bridal shows in New Jersey. Posh DJs does very few bridal shows, but when they do a bridal show, they spare no expense. Today I'm gonna to share with you the entire story of a very creative plan that my friends over at Posh cooked up to drive business, to drive foot traffic to their booth at this bridal show. Now get ready because you are about to be mine. Welcome back to Posh HQ, bros. We are here with uh, the man himself, Mikey B. Welcome back to the vlog, Mikey. You haven't been on for a while. So what's going on, man? Mikey's got a cool toy to show us. January 4th, 5th, and 6th, there's a big bridal expo here in Jersey, uh, the ACS Bridal Expo. And we've been there probably the last five years. A lot, a lot, a lot of brides go to this thing. So we always like to show out every single year, uh, bring something new, something crazy. And this year, it's going to be a claw machine. Oh, yeah. As you can see, this claw machine is used. It says Hollywood video in the background, so that could give you an idea of how old it is. I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace, bought it for like 600 bucks. So what we plan on doing is, for the show, dropping Louis Vuitton bags in there and letting brides kind of claw their way to a Louis. Uh, because you figure there's 2,000 brides walking around. What do all women like? Louis Vuitton. Now, clearly, I'm not going to give out Louis Vuittons all day. It's not a play till you win a Louis Vuitton, but the whole, it's just a gimmick to kind of break the ice. So it's like, hey, how do I play for a Louis Vuitton? Oh, just schedule an appointment, come meet with us, and uh, you get a, a free chance to play. So we'll tell them to open up Instagram stories or something like that, and then, you know, film them trying to win the Louis. There's going to be a lot of DJs there. Uh, there's 20 or 30 DJs, like, all over the shelf. So you got to stand out and just do something different. And this could be my inner carny coming out, you know, like <laughs> inner carny. My inner carny, <laughs> just like, Ugh. hey, win a prize for the lovely lady. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. You just lost two thousand dollars, my friend. <laughs> I actually learned a lot about the inner workings of a claw machine. There's two settings. There's a weak setting and a hard setting. You set it up to how many times the claw will go into a hard setting. So if you if it's an expensive prize, you would say like one every 90 chances it goes hard. And then 
the other 89 times it's soft. Really tough to win because you still got to position gotta, it yeah, correctly. Yeah, so, so you might waste that hard grab on yeah, a bad so, location. And, then and that's when you get like those like pull, 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 drop. Right. Check it out. We can get inside. And you'll see there's three settings here. So you have VR1. That's how strong it's going to be in a strong mode. VR2. That's how weak or strong it's going to be in a weak mode, which is more often. And then this is just a volume, which doesn't work right now. And obviously we're not going to bring it like this. Like Donnie at Revamp Raps is going to hook us up. We're gonna have our Posh logo on here, the LV logo, it's gonna be dope. I'm gonna be like exhibit on Pit My Ride. Right, so warping over uh, a couple days, the machine is done. I'm excited for you guys to see this. This is crazy. <laughs> so this is it. This is uh, your vision come to life. LV Posh CM. All right, that's how I'm making the final cut. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's the leg because the leg was cut off at the seam. Oh yeah, Louis 101. That's how you can spot a fake? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's see then why. This was done by our friends uh, oh. Donnie, uh, our, my friend Donnie at Revamp Raps who actually is in the, the next... Um, Sweet Over. Sweet Over. So he was kind enough to do this for us. We got all new Plexi. So it's, it looks fresh, looks brand new. You can't even tell this was the same machine. So we're gonna put um, on the bottom, we're gonna put like a white fur blanket that I bought on Amazon for 20 bucks. And then we're gonna go to the Louis store right now. Yes. Pick up three bags. So that should be fun. Yeah. Palm Springs, and I don't know how to pronounce it. Bakash Brichette. <laughs> Pocket change. Have you ever walked around with three Louis bags? No. It's not every time I run into somebody I know them. <laughs> We're live. So Bart, one of the important things is, um, my, my claw machine idea is not loved by every single person here at Posh. It's actually a 50-50. This is uh, Mikey B, by the way, the owner of Posh DJ. Here's one of the, the people that are not with the claw idea. In fact, he hates it. He's the anti-claw machine, thinks it's dumb, thinks it's a big waste of money. What do you have to say about my claw machine? Uh, hi, I'm Caesar Lil C, <laughs> one of the DJs here at Posh DJs. I'm Mike's partner. I'm his yin to his yang, or he's my yang to my yang. <laughs> Uh, however you want to call it. So we're having a showcase. It's going to be at the Meadowlands. Probably over 3,000 potential brides, grooms. It's going to be awesome. We do it every year. I'm so excited to meet the brides. But this year, my partner is really excited to do the claw machine. So if you've ever been down to the Jersey Shore, Coney Island, there's this machine you put money in. Claw tries to grab a teddy bear or an iPad. What we're doing is expensive. Very expensive. We're not putting teddy bears in there. He wants to put Louis Vuitton bags that are like $5,000 or $3,000. They're only $1,200. Three Louis Vuitton <laughs> bags into this claw machine. So if you're at the showcase and you meet posh DJs, you could actually just play this machine and potentially make us broke and win a Louis Vuitton bag. I don't think you're putting enough bags in. That's my palm of it. I think you need like 20. I agree. I thought we were going to stock it up with a couple of bags. Throw a couple of handbags, a couple of wallets in there. What is that, 30 grand? Something like that. Great. So then you want to see how sad I will be. Come to the show. Say hi to me, Susan, <laughs> Lil C. Play the claw. What a bag. Ruin his life. What a bag. We're going to see you at the show. <laughs> dying down it was a very 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 busy day we got the louis machine and it was a bit too much of a hit because we were getting hammered it was causing a line but that's what you want here at the shows there were so many people trying to win 
the Louis bag. These are the Louis bags that we picked up right back there. Over across on the other side, we have our sister company, JK Rose. And they brought, what is the actual name of this? Big Roulette wheel, wheel, right? Big wheel. Yeah. A big wheel. In order to win some awesome price, they're right across. And look at that, just like that, $250 off. Oh. We got the brochures, obviously, for both DJ and photography right here. The bridal show has come to an end, Mikey B. Yes, it has. How did you come up with this idea? What was the the train of thought behind it? It's so different, you know? Yeah, uh, that's what I love. I love doing different, right? So, I, and I think everyone that's in marketing should always do something different. Don't go with the crowds doing. I always wanted to be against the grain, so to speak. I wanted to do something different. Trade shows in general, you have, what? You can do a Plinko game. You can do that little wheel that you spin around. You have, um, you know, other games that you could play. I said, games, what can I do? What's different? And Claw Machine just hit me. And I guess I was YouTubing around and I saw like, you know, Claw Machine came up and I was like, oh, that'd be pretty cool. But how about a Claw Machine with like a Louis Vuitton bag? Because you got a bridal show with 2,000 brides and every bride loves a good handbag. So, you know, maybe just entice them there. Do you think that's necessary for bridal shows in particular, uh, where you need something like a game, something to entice people instead of, uh, you know, going in the middle of the hall and just kind of stopping people like, oh, you need a DJ? Yeah, you don't want to be that guy. So you know? <laughs> no one likes that, right? No, who wants to go to a trade show and just be stopped? Hey, what are you doing? You getting married? Awesome. <laughs> if you've ever been to that bridal show, I mean, you, you're going to show the video, but there's 2,000 brides there. There's eight aisles. By the time they get to the seventh aisle or fifth aisle, like, I'm sure they have their, like, <laughs> few, you know, uh, guards up. Like, get away from me. Like, if someone else asks me when my wedding date is, I'm going to, like, lose my mind. One, placement is good. You always want to be in, the, in, in one of the first boots where they're still happy when they're at the show. You don't want to be at the last, you know, uh, part of it where they're, they're just, like, done with it. Um, another thing is you do want to stand out. I mean, I even walked around and looked at all the photographers, and it's, it's exactly what you would think. It's pictures of weddings and photography. It's not enough to stand out from all the 30 photographers that are there. The same goes with a DJ. All the DJs have TVs. They all show packed dance floors. So what's gonna differentiate you from the pack? Essentially, you all do the same thing. All you DJs comparing each other to each other, you can't. Like, you know, when people ask me, what makes what makes you different from your competitors? I go, I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't been to their weddings. You know, I'm sure they do a great job. It seems like they do a great job. I'm not comparing them to that. I know we're only a day removed, but what was your overall take on the crane game? What was the response that you got? Success. Success? It was not a failure. I'll take that. You know? <laughs> yeah, it was a success. We got more leads in this show than ever before. Really? Um, wow. You know, I just think it was a, uh, and we also had the billboards that are up. So a lot of people knew us uh, prior going into it, which was kind of cool. A lot of referrals came up to us. A lot of people we already had booked. They're like, oh my God, you know, we're using you. Overall, best show yet. Train was a success. Will I do it again? No. No, no, why? I'm not gonna do it again. I wanna do something different. Something. I wanna do something different. Like, yeah, cause it, next year you're probably gonna have people who are like, oh, you know, what was that? Let's do something similar. Well, did you see the other blimp that was there? Yeah, yeah, so um, <laughs> th this is a little side story, but um, last year Mikey V brought the, the big balloon, which you could see throughout the whole um, area. And then this year there was another company that had another balloon, the blimp yeah. thing. All right, lastly, Mikey V, it's a new year, so I wanna just know what's going on at Posh. As usual, I know you're looking for new guys to join the team, so uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I'm always hiring. I have to hire, 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 hire. Uh, we have tons of leads, tons of work here. And I don't have enough guys to, to do it, but I don't. I want to hire the right guy. So if you're a DJ out there at any level, don't be intimidated. We'll start you off as a roadie, photo booth attendant, head roadie, DJ's assistant. Um, any level that you're at, you can join Posh. Just visit poshdjs.com. Scroll to the bottom, fill out an application. We'll reach out, set up an appointment. Um, but I can't stress enough. We have a lot of work here and not enough people to do it. So there's money up for grabs. If you're in a job uh, that you don't like, Come join Posh. What do you have to lose? Join the team. Information is right here. Where is it? Woo! Right here, right? Point on right, right there. Right there. there you go. And uh, any last and final thing you want to say? In the comments below, give me my next year's idea. <laughs> so there you have it. A full behind the scenes with Posh DJs of the Meadowlands Expo Brattle Show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this crazy video. If you did, please leave your questions, comments, and concerns down below. I'm so excited to hear what you guys have to say. Do you guys do 
bridal shows, do you see them profitable or do you see them disappearing? I would love to get your opinion. I want to know what's going on all around the country and around the world. Let me know down in those comments below. If you like this video, please be sure to like it, subscribe if you're new around here, and if you really want to help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another video. Lastly, I do want to send a huge shout out to my boy DJ Rick Webb for hooking me up with some DJ Life clothing. His new line, his new wave of DJ Life clothing is now live. If you want to buy some of his merch, I'm going to leave it linked down below. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.